Okay, welcome back everyone to another Ground Cross video. Missed an upload yesterday, which was uh, quite annoying, but I just fell asleep and I, was I literally slept for like hours. But uh, today, I think you just actually, uh, we did get some news about a new crossover event coming to Grand Cross on JP, obviously. Um, and obviously, you know, the timeline, we're not going to get this global, the banner on global for probably a year almost, because they're, they're just on the, the year one anniversary. We're like, what, nine months behind? So expect to see um, the, you know, the banner in, in nine months time. So obviously it's a good thing because one, uh, we are going to get it. So that's why I'm covering it. Cause I don't like to cover JP news, but when it's a big thing like this, it's quite big. And, um, the list of animes that could, or potential crossovers that can come is quite big. So that's what we're going to be covering today. But, um, there are some rules which we've been covering is, um, one, the anime, um, it has to be sort of like, uh, what, sort of like medieval, you know, if you get what I'm saying, you get, you get the picks that I chose from. Uh, nothing too futuristic, like, uh, like, you know, Gundam stuff, like, something too crazy. But, uh, but the thing is, I'm pretty much ignoring that rule for the first one, because, uh, I just want to pick it. And also, we're going to be going over the characters. Uh, we got three new characters for Slime Event. So we're taking Slime Event, we've got three new characters, three SRs, and then one SR. But then also Lilia, which was technically like four characters. So we, we, we're either going to get three characters um, plus an SR. So three characters being one banner. Or we're going to get four characters, four, SR, uh, four SSRs, and the banner will be split. That's what I feel like they're going to do because, I mean, they're trying to make money, right? Um, so probably, I, and the, the actual list of animes I did pick, um, a lot of them have four main characters anyway. And uh, we pretty much gonna have split banners between both of them if they were to come true. So uh, yeah, um, they also got have a boss, a kind of a big boss, um, which I mean to be fair, they can just kind of scale it up. Uh, so yeah, you take that as what you will. But we're gonna be starting off with the first first one. So number five will be Data Live. Um, now I pretty much ignore my first rule, which is kind of like medieval type of thing, because Data Live is quite futuristic or like kind of like modern. Um, basically, it just is my first anime I watched. I kind of like it. Plus, this anime, um, there's quite a few animes. Uh, you'll see my uh, honorable mentions later on uh, of, like, animes that I like, have a lot of crossovers um, in other games. Like, this Data Live's been in quite a few. Um, they have their own game as well coming out to Global in a couple months. There's no release date yet, but, um, I mean, why not then? It'll be a pretty good time. Um, they're also have a lot of crossovers with uh, other ones so yeah data life my first one and the character i obviously would pick would be uh shido the main boy um toka kurumi and kotaro so obviously with three main girls and then one boy and then um the boss would be reverse origami um they've done that before i think on the actual actual spirit pledge game uh she's kind of like the boss i guess it's kind of like one of the big villains not really big villain, but if if there was to be a boss, she would be it. Now, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get off this this point because uh, I just kind of want to put it in here because I kind of like the anime. But uh, the next one will be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, a anime that actually has been in multiple games, and one of them I play, which is a uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Uh, we've talked about it on my channel before. Uh, I think in the recent one of the recent uh, videos, like, like a week or two ago, I kind of compared it. And uh, yeah, this anime would kind of work perfectly. We have four characters, that being Alphonse, or both the El Edward uh, Elric brothers, Alphonse, uh, Edward, King Bradley and Mustang, both being SSRs. And he could throw in a um, couple SSRs, that being uh, like Winry, if they want to do that. And obviously these characters could work pretty well. We have Edward being pretty much an all right damage unit, uh, Alphonse being a tank. Uh, they could do Mustang being like a fire damage, I guess, and Edward just being another fire damage. So, kind of not the greatest mix-up here, because we pretty much have three damage, one tank. Uh, none of them being healers or support kind of characters. But, uh, I mean, it could make Mustang a support, I guess. Uh, we're not going to be talking about what they actually do, or at least until not number one, because I do have quite a big spot for number one. But, uh, yeah, I, I think this could work. I, passive stuff, I don't really know. Um, I guess... Ex equivalent exchange do we do we working on something along that um you know just probably a lot of life still i guess like they do a lot of damage and they get health back i don't know but uh yeah for the boss they did this in final fantasy which would be the first homunculus which obviously will be um you see on the screen now basically a massive or the kid and the massive homunculus behind him 
his name Salem? No, it's, oh, what's his name? I'm going to be annoyed now. I can't remember it. It's been a while since I've watched it. But yeah, this could be a very good one. Um, I was going to put, as you know, I said that for Donovan mentions. The next one, obviously, it kind of a meme in the community. And I think it could work because obviously we have four main characters. Um, Demon Slayer. Uh, obviously, quite obvious. Uh, Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu, and Inosuke. Four characters all being SSRs. Uh, they can pretty much do uh, what? Well, I mean, they probably mug it, but they probably have Tanjiro and Nezuki on one banner, and then uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke on one banner, and then both of them all be all, all four of them being SSRs. For SR, I don't know what they could do. Probably, no, I don't, I'm not sure what they could do actually. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what they could do for SRs. I mean, they don't have to do an SR, right? They could just do SSRs, but chances are they will do an SR, so they probably just throw someone in there. Uh, I don't know, maybe someone in the Ishirai. Was it? Is that? Am I saying it right? Um, in that group, you get what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, for the actual boss, we have the Hand Demon. I think that's what he's called. Basically, one of the first bosses. And the reason why I'm picking him over someone like Rui is that was his name? Yeah, because Rui is quite small, right? He's the one who got head, his head chopped off. Spoiler. But um, yeah, so obviously we're going for the demons, right? They're gonna be massive raid bosses, death matches. They gotta be big, um, like how Ifrit was. So the hand boss demon or the hand demon, I think it works quite well. And uh, for the four characters, I think they could be pretty good. Uh, Tanjiro being a, obviously his water breathing technique being his uh, main ability. And then his fire one, where he goes to the fire form, that could be his ultimate, would be pretty sick. Uh, Zenitsu, I thought of him being like Jericho, how he does like one massive slash attack. Um, and then his, you know how he acts stupid, right? That would be one of his abilities. Kind of like how Elizabeth is with the plates. Host Elizabeth, you know, she like... She runs off and drops the plate so like stupidly. Um, that could be him. Inosuke just have two attacks. So I guess he just goes all out with how like Bon does it with the nunchucks. And then Nezuko, she has uh, her blood art thing, like with a fire explosion. No, what's it? Blood explosion, right? Just on that, right? Um, so she could do something along that. I guess she's more of a support, right? So um, she a tank maybe? I don't know. Well, she can go powerful, right? She can go big and small. Um, it'd be pretty cool to see what they all look like. And by the way, all these animes, if they do ever get in, um, I hope it's something like a big anime, not some random one like... Well, I mean, to be fair, the slime event, it wasn't random, but it was pretty sick. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna have to add a at home. Number two, another fan favorite. I've seen, uh, obviously a lot of people talk about this, and I haven't watched the anime, so that's a big disclaimer. This is the only one I haven't watched, but I have been told this pretty much is like a good chance of getting in. Connor Super being the next pick, and I have to do some research on this one because I don't really know anything about this series. Um, I think I've watched episode one, so um, yeah, we have four main characters, obviously being Kazuma, Aqua, Megaman, and Darkness. Four obviously being SSRs, and probably once again Banner Split, a uh, typical Net Marvel probably. But uh, yeah, so from what I understand, is uh, Darkness will be a tank because she always like sacrifices herself, like just taking damage, I guess. Uh, Aqua would be a healer. And then uh, Mega Min will be a damage, like, you know, uh, explosion. I think that's apparently the only thing she knows. Um, and then also Kazuma just, I guess, being a damage again. So the reason why this is number second and not really first, because obviously first is go in and I'm picking that all, for all the way. But um, as for a lineup, it's not bad. The, the timeline kind of syncs up. It's kind of like medieval type of thing. Uh, not really modern, but also... Got a good lineup of healers, tanks, and damage. Um, as far as the others, they haven't really done that. Um, the ones we've named, at least. So, pretty good lineup. I think uh, a lot of people will be happy with this one. I wouldn't mind it. This is my second pick. So, um, if we do come out of this, um, I might end up saving for a while. But, number one, the Goated series. And if this does happen, I am not pulling on a single banner until this comes out. Uh, I'm 6-6 six, six in every single unit and spending hundreds of dollars or pounds, I guess, for me. And uh, just, I'm not pulling until Derriere comes out, essentially, right? Number one, already pretty much in the game, we have the green was Black Clover. My favorite anime of all time, pretty much. And uh, it would work so perfectly. Not only do you have green ones in the game, uh, not that it makes, it makes any difference, but um, perfect, like, lineup. We have... Asta, you know, um, Noel and Yami all being SSRs and um, the boss word soul magic the devil um, Spoiler if you haven't seen it. It's just it's it'll be perfect for an event um, Costumes they have a lot of costumes they can go through 
Um, I'm not really going to go over that part, but um, for the characters, as like Asta being a damage, Yuno could be a tank, uh, Noel being a healer, sort of like a defense person, and then obviously Yamich being a tank, I uh, guess a damage. Uh, but um, the main thing I want to talk about is because I actually have some movesets for these guys. So uh, obviously I do play the Black Clover Phantom Knights, the mobile game deserves better, but it is. And um, they do have Asta, obviously we're going to have Black Asta, obviously like in his demon form, right? Uh, he would have a AoE Hurricane attack, obviously, because uh, that's one of his signature moves, Black Hurricane. Uh, basically doing damage to every single person on his, like, his second skill, I guess. Um, his first skill would be, uh... I mean, he could just do a single target attack and make his passive remove debuffs, I think. Because obviously his whole gimmick is uh, anti-magic, right? It goes through anything. Uh, so I'm guessing, like, shields, any type of debuffs... He, whatever he does, he just removes it. And he'd be so OP, bro. Um, and then, obviously, his uh, ultimate will be uh, Black Meteorite, where it just does single target damage onto one person. That'll be disgusting. Uh, we have Yuno, obviously, Spirit of Zephyr. Yuno, pretty much him with a sword. Uh, all right, if we're going to talk about cosmetics, I guess. Yeah, they have the sword. They have the costume. They have hats and stuff like that. Uh, Yuno would have his sword. Uh, Noel would have a, a wand. And then uh, Yami have his sword as well. So that could very really work out pretty well. And um, that is my last pick. And obviously, yeah, the, the, the boss being a, the word soul magic demon. Um, the best villain that Black Clover has released so far, obviously, apart from mangas. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my pick. And I can't express enough how uh, excited I am to see what this is. And I'm making the video now rather than the tier list. Because I supposed to make the tier list yesterday, but I was going to make it today. But I'm going to make it tomorrow. Is because uh, I want to get this video out before they do announce um, what the thing is. And um, as for the, the list, obviously Data Live is kind of just like a, a mean pick. But for Mel uh, Alchemist, I, I don't really want it because I've had enough of it on uh, Final Fantasy. But uh, Demon Slayer 2, I think obviously it's been a meme uh, if that will come or not. I wouldn't mind it, to be fair. Uh, I do obviously like the series and I I can't wait for it. Um, I know it's finished, right? So I kind of want to read it. But um, that I wouldn't mind. Konosu, but I kind of would like a lot because I want, I want to watch it. I'm going to watch it soon, I guess. Um, if it does get added to the game, I will watch it. Uh, but obviously, this one would make sense. So I definitely think close to um, definitely Konosuba and Black Clover. But oh my god, I can't stress enough. Though, if Black Clover comes out on, on Seven Deadly Sins, it'd be so sick. Because um, there's a Black Clover mobile game. It's it's it's. I like it, right? It's I know it's not the greatest game, but um, if if Black Clover gets added, it's no longer Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. It's Black Clover Grand Cross. And I am only rocking at that them characters and I'm maxing out every single person I can. So um, let me know what you lot think uh, about what could be coming. Obviously, um, we will be doing some honorable mentions now. So this is the part where I think, you know, they could come, but like not really. Um, because there obviously there's been a lot of crossover animes, which um, have been added to a bunch of games and games that I play like Crash Fever. So the first one will be Kill the Kill. Um, the reason why I'm thinking this won't be in it is because it's kind of like a Crunchyroll game. That's why it's only been in one. But uh, Kill the Kill could obviously be um, Makoi uh, Ryuka. And I can't remember what the girl's name was. Uh, the It'll be three characters, right? So it'll be um, the three you can see on screen. The, what's oh, the queen the girl? I can't remember her name. Uh, Ryuka's sister. Uh, she, obviously, she will be three characters. Um, as for what they would do, they could work, right? But they could have like transformations, right? So... Um, until we actually get like transformations in the game, I don't think this is a good pick because they kind of have to transform, right? So I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. But I uh, also the next one would be Shield Hero, I guess. They kind of had one on on a uh, Grand Summoners, uh, not Grand Cross, Grand Summoners. They, that could be one. Uh, the next one could also be ReZero. That's another one that's going around as well. Uh, I haven't watched the animation. So I don't really know what to say about it. Uh, and the last honorable mention will be Attack on Titan. Uh, the reason why I didn't... I, this was number four, by the way. The reason I took it off is because the characters are kind of boring. Like, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, they, okay, uh, okay, not boring. I shouldn't say that. But, like, the three, the, the four or three characters that do get added, they're kind of all the same, right? The human fighters um, obviously works more in the anime, but um, we can't get a Titan for a natural character. But the reason why I almost put this fourth was because the boss would be the Colossal Titan, which would be sick as hell. Probably the best boss we could ever get in the game, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so that's my picks. Five Data Live, four, four Male Alchemist, Brotherhood, obviously. Um, three Demon Slayer, two Konosuba, and one Black Clover. Um, if you 
disagree, I don't care. Black Clover should be one one on everyone's list. I'm being a bit biased here. But uh, yeah, let me know what you lot think could be coming to the game. Obviously, I haven't seen every single anime, so there could be a lot more. Plus, um, I think there's a theory that Kodansha is like the comic uh, like comic place. So I guess they have uh, animes. Uh, and they do have uh, and they do have Seven Days Sins. And also, uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. So as for like... Uh, actually, like... If they're following this, right? No, I don't really know how true this is, but they might pick um, actual like, crossover from this site. So that could pretty much mean Grand Blue Fantasy or like Fairy Tale, which I mean, I wouldn't want Fairy Tale. Cells at work. Uh, they're pretty much like the the biggest ones I think I could see. So, what well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get Fairy Tale? I don't think anyone really wants that one, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much like the other like kind of like theory about what's going on. But there we go, there are my five picks. Let me know what you lot think. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and some speculation of what could be coming. Um, if it is Black Clover, you're going you're gonna to see a video from me. I'm probably not going to recover what, um, the, if it does get revealed, I'm probably not going to cover it unless it's like, yeah, Connor Seabor or Black Clover. But uh, we have to wait pretty much a year for it to come out. So uh, until then, thank you guys for watching and peace.